I want to talk about the stamp duties office in Yobe House. I feel they deserve a national award. Hi, once again, it's actually been a while since I did a video shoot and this video is about the best experience I personally have ever had with any government agency. I have had to interface with several government agencies. I don't want to mention their name so that I don't find myself, you know, having to explain myself and all that. But I want to talk about the stamp duties office in Yobe House. I had, I had certain issues on um, a certain payment I made online and that issue needed to be resolved uh, with the stamp duties. In fact, there was another agency that actually took that payment, but at the end of the day, their ICT uh, you know, system was not recognizing you know, the stamp duty payment, and boom, I had to go to the stamp duties office. I first went to their office in Zone 5, that's the FIRS office in Zone 5, uh, either Zone 2 or Zone 5 in Wuse. I got that they were like, oh no, stamp duty is no longer here, they moved to Yobe House in Central Area, just beside uh, the Federal Ministry of Finance. And I drove, I had to go back down to stamp duty office. Immediately I entered that office. You could tell that it was an office that was welcoming, an office that actually was set up to really resolve problems. I've had to do several things with the stamp duties office online before now. And most times you send in a query, you take a ticket online on the stamp duty portal. In less than 24 hours, I kid you not, in less than 24 hours, your issue is dealt with, with explanations, you know, like those guys are just so cool. They don't even look like the normal civil servants. They don't look like civil servants. It's like, it's like a business, it's like a business environment. You get into the stamp duties office, they are very prompt, they are helpful, they are reliable. And one other thing that I really noticed was their humaneness. They, they, they treat people like human beings. You will get into some other offices and, you know, somebody will be on the call, maybe speaking one tribal language, talking to a babe, you know, doing a whole lot of other things. They necessarily don't even care if you are standing for up to one hour or 35 minutes and all that. This, this is my own personal experience. Sometimes you would even have to ask for a seat and people will ignore you. They will keep you standing. But you get into the stamp duty office, it's totally different. And the truth is this, the individual I actually met there, I don't want to say he's a northerner, but yes, he is. He's a, he's a core Nigerian because uh, he didn't have to think about where I'm from to be able to you know, deliver optimum service to me. He was spotless, he was smooth, he was everything that you know a customer service individual should actually possess. And I'm sure he's not a customer service you know, staff. He's actually a senior staff. He appeared to be a senior staff on the senior cadre, but he dealt with me with utmost professionalism. I'm so chilled about this guy. I'm so chilled about the stamp duties office in Yobe House. I'm so chilled about their team. You need to experience those guys for yourself. Be, be, beyond all I've said, their supportive culture, as I've seen and experienced, is next to none that I've experienced in any government agency, with all due respect. And also when you're looking at the issue of discrimination, sometimes you go to a government office, maybe somebody from a different language, you know, they are talking, they will even ask you, go and look for your person so that your person can help you. You know, things like that. But that didn't take place in the stamp duties office. I've not been there once, I've been there twice in person, and it was the same top-notch experience. So I, I just had to put this on video just to say that we still have certain beautiful stories that are making the rounds. Stories that people necessarily do not talk about. Those guys are good. Those guys are awesome. Try them out online on their online portal. You have an issue. I'm sure, I'm 100% sure, in less than 24 hours, you will get a feedback. Go to their office. You have a lot of staff there. In fact, the second day I actually went there, uh, there was somebody that came with some issue. She was waiting to see the person who actually resolved my issue. And the lady's like, don't worry, I can help you. Like, you don't, you don't even get to see people asking to to get more work done you know it's it's not in the culture of a lot of workers you know but these people are just a different breed of individuals i feel they deserve a national award